fourth chapter with you. Right? And we are going to do exactly the same thing what we did with the third chapter. But there are two things I wanted to tell you before we start. You remember we did the present tense and we said Pathati Pathatah Pathanti Pathasi Pathatha Pathasi, Pathatha, Pathatha Oh, am I? Pathasi, Pathatha, Pathatha Pathami Pathavah Pathamah Okay? This is the present tense To use the future tense in Sanskrit is very easy. If you remember this, then using the future tense is extremely easy. The form remains the same. Um, and uh, a group of words is added in between. So, the future tense... Oh, somebody needs to translate. Everything remains the same. A phrase gets added. Instead of pathati, we say pathishyati. Similarly, what will become here? Pathishyataha. Pathishyataha. And what will become here? Pathishyanti. mistake but anyway Patishyati Patishyataha Patishyanti If we go by logic then what will this become? Patishya Patishya Si Patishya Si What will this become? Patishyatha and this Patishyatha. What will this become? Patishyami, Patishyava, Patishyama. And you have your future tense ready. This is as simple as this. I am saying this because we are going to use this in the present chapter.
So, this is what it is, the future tense. What do you say future tense in Ukrainian? Будущее время. Будущее. Будущее время. My good nichas. Okay. So this is what it is. The black one is written in um, present tense and the green one is written So, we are going to use from now onwards the future tense wherever we want. Because it is so easy. Gachanti, gachana, gachanti. If you want to say this, oh, actually, this, there is a problem. Let me take uh, Jaya. Jayati, Jayatah, Jayanti. And then it will be, become jay, Jayishyasi, oh, jay, Jayishyati, Jayishyatah, Jayishyanti, etc., etc. Gacha has a problem because you remember the main word, main dhatu in uh, uh, Gacha is Gam. And we use gum for the future tense. We don't say gachishyanti, gachishyatah, etc., etc. We say gamishyanti, gamishyatah, gamishyanti. So, you can see the form is the same, only the dhatu changes. This is with gamma and this is with patha. Patishyati, patishyatah, patishyanti. Please repeat after me. Patishyati, patishyatah, patishyanti. Patishyasi, patishyatah, patishyatah. Patishyami, Patishyava, Patishyama. Okay. So, this is one. I wish we had, we have another board, no? Mr. I'll just bring it. I don't want to remove this because then we will be missing out on something. There is one small thing I am going to add to your knowledge today. And we will take it from uh, the use of Sandhi. Because in this I see sometimes now they have started using Sandhi as well. Few uh, initial uh, Sandhi portions are very easy to understand. And we will learn a few of them. We can just keep this here like that, no? Or it will not work. Okay. The, you remember all the alphabets? Sorry, vowels. The vowels are a, a, e, e, etc., etc. 
And the sandhi, the simplest form of sandhi is basically when we have two um, vowels coming one after the other, what happens? Everybody can see this? No problem, no? Similarly, a plus a also becomes a. A plus a also becomes a. And the same thing applies with e. Two e's. E plus E will become Dirk E. E plus Dirk E will become Dirk E. And Dirk E plus E becomes Dirk E. And the same rule applies with U. U plus U becomes dirk u and etc etc is it to understand you will remember i told you about the stressed words the stressed words are the end result of all these combinations and uh, now comes what happens if a is added to e or a is added to e. Um, similarly, a added to u. How does this change? That is a bit complicated, but one of the examples is given here. When they say humo vacha, it is huma plus uvacha. Huma plus uvacha, which basically means, should I pick it up? Is it easy to understand? All of you know? The first letter is humo vacha. So it's basically huma plus uvacha. This is A plus U. A plus U. And this A plus U becomes O. U, Mo, Va, Cha. Now, if you remember, we have done a number of exercises. This word is basically Ha plus U plus Ma plus A. And then it's added to U plus V plus A plus Ch. Okay? Ch plus A basically. You can see here what is happening. A plus U. This is where the Sandhi starts working. Two words, but the last letter of this and the first letter of the next word are here. There are certain ways in which 
they get added not only with vowels, also with consonants. Is that clear? The first letter itself in this chapter is because of the Sanghi. And the Sanghi is between A and U, which becomes O. And then you can see it is Hu, Mo, Va, Cha. This gets removed and you get this word. Everyone is clear about this now? How Sandhi works? Once you know how to break a word, then the Sandhi becomes very easy to understand. Now, uh, we have done two things till now. We have learned the future tense, those who have come late. We have learned the future tense and it is very easy if you know the present tense. So the future tense becomes patishyati, patishyata, patishyanti instead of patati, patata, patanti. And the second thing we have learned is the very simple form of combining two vowels which is sand, which is called sandhi in Sanskrit. And now you can write this. This is sandhi. This is how it is written. Sandhi. Okay, so now let us. Oh, oh, I think I'll need to go through one more. Uh, you have this this thing written uh, in uh, with you in the exercises. I think it is the first exercise. You see this chart. Hmm. This is the same chart of cases. You remember? Balka, Balko, Balka, Balkam, Balko, Balkan, Balkin, Balka, Bham, Balki, Bhya. That case chart, the same chart will also be for pronouns. And they have given two examples of aham and twam. So the aham chart becomes aham avam vayam, mam avam asman. Mama Avayo Asmakam. То есть нам нужна таблица спряжений местоимений, как прежде мы с вами спрягались чувствительное, например, мужского, женского рода. Сейчас у нас другие местоимения. Например, Агам это я и Твам это ты. Нам нужны конкретно три падежа: именительные, которые отвечают на вопрос кто что, это первая строка. Потом второй падеж, который отвечает на вопрос кого чего, либо кого что. And the third question is, what is the question? Tom becomes Tom Yuvam Yuyam, Tom Yuvam Yushman, Tav Yuvayo Yushma. Come. And with this, we can start reading. Let's start from here. Read the first sentence. Humo vacha. Humo vacha. Next, uh, sorry. Continue. Yuyam. Kutra. Gachatha. 
because there is no halant, so you have to pronounce the whole thing. Yuyam kutra gachatha. Everybody, please pronounce. Humo vacha. Yuyam kutra gachatha. Yuyam kutra gachatha. Next sentence. In the Avacha Uvacha Uvacha Vayam 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 Vidya Vidya Layam Vidya Layam Vidya Layam Vidya Layam Gacha Maha Gacha Maha Yes, wherever akar is there, you must give full emphasis. Repeat after me. Indar uvacha vayam vidyalayam vidyalayam gachamaha. Gachamaha. Vayam vidyalayam gachamaha. You see, in the first instance, it was Huma plus Uvacha. It was A plus U. That is why it got added and they wrote one word, Humo Vacha. But the other one, Indar Uvacha, it is actually A plus U. And A plus U does not, does not get connected. They are not, there is no Sandhi for A plus U. That is why they have written separate words. Indar Обратите внимание, в первом в первой реплике у нас написано, да, Хума сказала, Хумо Вача. То есть мы объединили два слова, одно заканчивалось на долгий А, второе начиналось на короткую У. По правилам Сенхи образовалось О, мы это уже разобрали. Во втором случае, ниже, да, реплика, которая идет, Инда рассказал, у нас Индера Увача. Первое слово заканчивается на короткий А, второе начинается на короткий У. И по правилам Санхи между ними нет соединения, поэтому два слова написаны отдельно. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Next sentence. Хиркана Увача. Татра Кри Пра Кри Да Спардаха Спа Спа Спардаха Спардаха. That rave comes before the. Only this much you should remember. Когда у нас R пишется таким хвостиком сверху, она это означает, что она стоит перед согласной. То есть мы ее читаем как бы перед согласной. Тут рдха получается. Рдха. Спардаха. Kriya Spardha Santi Santi Khelishya Maha Khelishya Maha Vayam Khelishya Maha What is Shya Maha? Khelishya Maha We will play Tatra Kriya Spardha Santi Vayam Khelishyamaha. There is a sporting competition and we will play. Тут, вернее, там будет спортивное соревнование и мы будем играть. So, all of you, please repeat after me. Phekan Uvacha. Phekan Uvacha. Tatra Krira Spardha Santi. Vayam Khelishya Maha Sir, can you please the last word? Would you be so kind to repeat the last word? Khelishya Maha Khelishya Maha Khelishya Maha Khelishya Maha Vayam Khelishya Maha once again, I'll, I have said it earlier, but once again, in Sanskrit and Hindi, there is no sound called F. The sound comes as P is with both the lips. P, P. P, P. 
There is no sound f without touching the lips, which is in English. There is no sound like f in Hindi or Sanskrit. Как уже говорилось ранее, и в Хинди, и в санскрите нет звука фа. Там есть звук пха. То есть в первом слове, которое называется пхайкана, это пха, не фа. Next sentence you read. Рама чарана увача. Кем спардаха кевалам балат кебьяха эва санти. Repeat the sentence once again. Рама чарана увача. Kim sparda kevalam balak kebhya eva santi. Correct. Now you pronounce correctly. Balak kebhya. Balak kebhya. Wherever the A is there, you have to give stress. Okay. So repeat after me. Ram charan uvacha. Ram charan uvacha. Kim sparda kevalam balak kebhya eva santi. Are those competitions only for boys? Is the is the translation done correctly? Yeah, yeah. This is correct. Okay, so you know. The meaning I am quite quite happy that all you love all of you will understand the meaning because I don't have to explain the meaning to you. Unless you find anywhere that something is wrong, because you will be able to understand. Once again, <coughs> so, excuse me, ask once again. Yeah. The, this uh, complicated word you cannot read. Ba la ke bhya. Ba la ke bhya. Okay. Ba la ke bhya. Go word by word, and it will be easy to understand. Ba. ल के भ्य आ बाल के भ्य ओके वंस अगेन यू सी द नेक्स्ट पर्सन इज प्रसन्ना दैट मींस इट हैज टू बी अ गर्ल प्रसन्ना एनी नेम इन संस्कृत और हिंदी generally i would say which ends in a has to be a lady's name so because it is prasanno vacha there is no other form but to imagine that it is prasanna plus uvacha and the moment it means she is a lady a girl so let's read this ah sorry you have to explain yeah uh, smriti na sedeshe Прасанна сказала, да? Прасанно вача. Теперь вы знаете, что по правилу санги тут не может быть друг, как бы, другого окончания начала слова, кроме как долгой А и У. То есть прасанна заканчивающаяся на долгую А, а следующее слово начинается на короткую У. То есть теперь вы можете разбивать уже слова, зная правила. Прасанно вача. Нахи. once again the example that I gave earlier this word balika there are two